Hey guys, it is Denma and I am coming to you with one last video in this whole day of recording. I probably have enough material for like a week's worth of videos if I post it every day, which I don't obviously. I'm very bad at having a routine, but um, I'm going to do a little Hot Topic haul. They had a good sale going on. They had the Hot Mess sale. Most everything was buy one, get one 30% off. I mean, I saved a ton and I got some hot cash. Do they all have the same code? No. Okay. Okay. Oh, wow. It sounds like when you use multiple hot cash codes online now. Okay. I would, if it just was one code, I was going to give let you see it, but I might use the, actually use this because it's from July 6th to the 16th. So I usually make a monthly, bi monthly order from Hot Topic, either in store or online because it has such good sales. So um, I got a few items. Um, I had a $50 off $125 coupon, or it was $25 off of $75, I think it was. And then all the discounts from the sales. Um, it came to before the discounts. It was ah, uh, doesn't tell me. Does it? No. Okay, math. I have to do math. Hold on, give me a second. It was around a hundred and. $98 and some change and with my discount I say I only had to pay with tax $101 my subtotal was $94.39 we have 7% tax here in NC but yeah move you guys down just a little yeah I saved nearly $100 at Hot Topic so that was amazing. So, I got to use multiple coupon or multiple sales with combined with the coupons. Sometimes shops won't want to do that, but they did. The guy wasn't really cool. He said, well, until they tell me that I'm doing it wrong, I'm going to keep doing it this way. So, because I saw the total, I'm like, oh my god, it's going to be nearly $200. And I'm like, that's a lot. And then the $50 off coupon took off a bunch, and then there was like 20 more like forty dollars in sale discounts so I mean it was crazy so anyway let's start this puppy um, first thing I got um, these are my first ones of this are the Tsum Tsums I saw the beast I thought he was really cute so I got him and the guy said well the Tsum Tsums it's like one for six fifty or if you get two they're five dollars for both so I got my mom Sebastian from Little Mermaid because I didn't have a whole lot to choose from. It was like Slim Pickens. So she likes Sebastian, so I got her that one. I gotta put this back on the TV where she had it so she doesn't think Charlie ate it. Um, the next thing I got is the most expensive thing I got. It is a very pretty How to Train Your Dragon dress. Um, I'm not gonna like open it up but I want you to see the pattern. It's got toothless heads all over it. And it's tied right, it's tied right here. So it kind of looks like a, almost like a medieval type dress. It's like a tank top, it's sleeveless. Um, and it, it flares out. I don't, I don't know what style of dress that is. Does it say what type? But this was $42.50 by itself. So my $50 off coupon basically paid for this. This is extra large. I tried it on over my clothes just because I was being lazy. And it was snug. So when I took my clothes, like my shirt, my shorts off, it fit a lot better. So let's see. Toothless pretty dragon dress. That's all it tells me. But yeah, $42.90. This was like the only thing that was not on sale. I actually went in there because on the coupon it had a picture of a like shawl type thing $30 off 75 purchase um 
I wanted this. My cat got a hold of it and decided to chew it. It's like a sheer shawl thing with little tests on the bottom, and it's got a galaxy constellation type print. I wanted that, but I couldn't find it, so. Darn. I think. Let's see, when does this expire? I think it cut off the expiration date. Oh, it's good through July 23rd, so I might get it next month. See if they have it online. But this girl's actually my size, so it was really good to see clothes in my size. I wouldn't wear their shorts because they're really short, unless like they're like I'm wearing some now, and they're Star Wars, <laughs> Return of the Jedi ones. But yeah, I wouldn't wear them that short out in public. So. Um, the shirts were buy one get one thirty percent off. I had picked out three. I got two in this moment ones and uh, never forget Stranger Things Barb one. And I'll show you those in a second. Um, and my mom, when she got, when I had the Zoom Zoom and he told me about the sale, he's like, and she's like, don't tell her that. She just needs to spend more money. Because I was like, mom, come in there with me because I won't stay quite as long. Because I could stay in there for a couple hours just looking through everything. Because it's not busy anymore. Like the Hot Topic used to be the big thing where it was like packed all the time, but now it's not. It's really nice, especially if you don't like people, like a lot of people, like me, anxiety. It causes me cost like I don't know if it's claustrophobia or what. I just don't like it. Um, I just like don't tell her that. So when um it came, I was going to pick out my other swimsuit, swim, and he said, "Well, the shirts are the sale price." Um, and he's like, but I'm going to leave it up to you to tell her since you told me not to tell her. Yeah. So when I came back with the Sebastian, she's like, well, the shirts are buy one, get one 30% off. And you have three, so you need to pick another shirt out. Plain t-shirt. So I'm like, okay, I can do that because I am a sucker for graphic tees. So this is the one I ended up picking out last. It's got all the Doctor Who's as cats. It's all the way up to number 13. So I didn't know it was the first house like I thought it was. I was like, there's only 12, because uh, I've seen a shirt similar to this, or like fan art similar to this. I hadn't seen the 13th Doctor, but he's right there. Uh, Russian blue, it looks like. But look at Tom Baker, kitty. I love him. And then 12 and 11. I oh, 12. I got that. And they're boy si or guy sizes on this. And yeah, my other shirts were all guy sizes because the girl sizes, the 2X, I could fit into it, but it fit, or if I wash it, it shrinks to where it like rolls up at the bottom. It's not like tight, tight, but it's tight around the bottom where the hem is, so it rolls up when I sit. I don't like that. So I usually don't get the shirts unless they have a plus size available, like a 3X or higher. And this is the Barb shirt. I haven't gotten any Stranger Things shirts yet because the Stranger Things Netflix properties usually don't go on sale but yeah. I wasn't on the big the big on the barb train but I liked how it looks very 80s. I didn't want the Hawkins high school or middle school whatever it was logo shirt and I didn't want the one that had like the stock photo that they used for all the promotions and stuff and they had one that was pretty cool that it was white and White and me don't mix very well. I stain things a lot. Um, and it had 11. It's just a fa her face and her nose is bleeding and she's just glaring. And it's like a black and obviously black and white picture. And her head, like in the shadows, they made a forest. That's really cool. So. In this moment, I've gotten really, really into, and I was muttering to my mom back there, but because all the clearance stuff is in the back, I was looking, just looking through it, I was like, and then I was looking up at the wall to see the t-shirt, I'm like, I was looking for an In This Moment shirt, and I'm not used to their logo, so I didn't see it, and then I happened to mutter it to my mom, and he came and walked over and held this up, I'm like, oh, okay, cool, so, and there was two of them, so I didn't know which one to get, so I got both. So there's this in this moment shirt. Um, it's just in this moment with three skulls, with um, a 
spider and a crown, like everything that represents like the blood album. A lot of pictures that do that. And of course it's black, so of course it's gonna have cat hair and dog hair on it, but what can you do? And I suck at folding, that's why I hate working in apparel. In the last in this moment shirt I got actually had uh, I think Marina Brink or Maria Brink. It has her picture on it. Um, this band has like a ton of views. The best way I can describe it is a heavy metal version of Lady Gaga. She has these great parts where she sings, and then she has these parts where she gets like gritty and you know how they do the screamo parts, but they're not like too overdone because I don't like smooth, like Cannibal Corpse or like anything like that that screams because I can't understand the lyrics so I can't get into the song. So, but I, this was my favorite shirt and they only had it in an extra large so it's a guy's fit so I'm sure it'll fit me. Even if it shrinks. So. Their t-shirts are pretty expensive. I usually don't get their t-shirts unless they're on sale. And I got two more buttons to put on my Eda bag. I got this. Oh. Let's see. The buttons are two for three dollars or a dollar ninety nine a piece. I got this Wonder Woman one. You can kind of see it. Sorry, it's like blurry, but it's I think her new fifty two outfit. And then I got one. I was like, this is me because I got it yesterday, which was. Anton Yelchin's death anniversary day says fangirl noun slang one who is obsessed with the fictional character celebrity or band fangirls are usually mistaken for stalkers some fangirls create cults and fan listings and then it says see also groupie so I'm like yeah that, that fits me to a T I mean I'm a, I don't think I'm stalker material but I'm definitely obsessed with you know who. And the last thing I got from there, I didn't get any jewelry other than like the pins. I don't really consider that jewelry, surprisingly. It was some Suicide Squad socks. They were on clearance. And they have the Joker, Enchantress, Harley. This is the reason why I got a katana, because we know I love Boomer Blade and then Deadshot. The only one they don't have is Boomerang, El Diablo, and Crocodile. Killer Croc, you know, but, because I ship Boomer Blade, but I'll probably do is wear the, um, Harley, one Harley on, or one Harley sock on one foot and the Joker one on the other, and then just wear the regular, other ones like regular. If I had a, um, Boomerang pair, I would wear Boomerang on one side and wear Katana on the other. I do that a lot, I mismatch my Stuff. Like I have a pair of um, shoes I got from Walmart that were like nine something. They're men's like slip on loafer type shoes. I don't know what sand how to describe them. But they were DC, it was Batman, Superman. I was like, I don't want to get just one, so I'll get one of each and then I'll wear them at the same time, mismatch them, and it'll still look cool. Oh, um, so unfortunately. My feet are, they're big for girls' feet, but they're a little too small for John, my PC, to fit in. So I was like, because he could have had the other pair. So I think there are nine in the guys. I'm not sure. Uh, I haven't worn the other pair because I have, um, they don't have very thick sole. That's the only thing because you know Walmart shoes. Um, you get what you pay for. Uh, so I got some insoles, so I have those and the ones that I actually wear, so I might just give the other pair away. So, um, I'll probably put, if I do, I'll post it on Instagram or something like that. I won't make a video to, for it. Um, I don't think, unless, I uh, might, I don't know. Um, so, uh, I'll look at that and I'll take some pictures and uh, put it on Patreon first. Because if I have any Patreons, they get first dibs, and then I'll put it on Facebook and Instagram and uh, Twitter. 
I would say Snapchat, but Snapchat chat only lasts 24 hours, so it wouldn't be a point to that. So, anyway, that was that relatively quick little haul. Um, like I said, Hot Topic has really stepped up their, like, merchandise, and especially in this store, I don't know if they're doing it in all stores, they have clipboards hanging on each panel of, or section of shirts, and it says, what do you want to see here? And a lot of people were writing, like, animes and stuff, like, they didn't have, um, they had a lot of Attack on Titan stuff, uh, last season, I guess, and they put it on clearance, and it's, like, in the Pokemon stuff, and it went, and people were requesting that they want more of that back. And somebody, I was going to put Team Wolf up there, but somebody already put it up there. And I was like, yes! And I pointed an arrow and underlined it, and I'm like, this! Because they did have a few Team Wolf things. And I got a Team Wolf fitted a T for a girl in 2X, but I've worn it once. It's very thin. Like, any bra that I wear, you, um, shows through it, so. But it's not big enough to where I can wear, like, a tank top or anything, so I'm a nude bra, I guess. So, or I just turn it into a pillow out. So, cut the, sew up the neck and cut off the arms and there you go. You can either put a pillow inside or just put stuffing in it. So, um, but yeah, I don't know if all Hot Topics are doing that. I would definitely suggest stuff to them. They were super nice. I mean... Everybody has a stereotype with goths or emo kids or like anybody that looks different than the norm, especially in small towns. Um, but yeah, online, I always check their clearance section because they have amazing prices when it comes to clearance stuff in their eyeshadow palettes. Um, I've gotten three of them. I think there's a couple more new ones or newer ones out that I looked at, but they were not my shade, so. I didn't get them. But they were amazing. Um, if you watch the husband or boyfriend does my makeup challenge, you will see that he used the Interstellar Galaxy looking palette the most, and it is really pigmented, really smooth. Even without uh, eye primer, it doesn't really crease or anything, and it's very nice shadows. I don't know about like the rest of their makeup line, that's all I have, but I recommend the shadows definitely. Anyway, that is it. I'm done filming today. Finally! At 5.20 in the morning. So when I crash tonight, I'm going to crash pretty dang hard, and I don't even need sleeping pills for that. I don't have any anyway, because I ran out, and my mom has my new prescription, so they... I'm going to text her and see instead of me going out with her if they can just do that stop and grab them and fill them on the way home because I don't want to deal. go out. I don't want to be woken up for at least eight hours. So, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, at least like noon. <laughs> I want to sleep till one again. So, anyway. I will see you guys in the next video. I hope you enjoyed this little haul. I know I do. I like watching hauls and doing haul videos. Um, if you've got something like you really like hot topic, share it in the comments below. I'm curious to see what everybody's taste is, if they even shop at Hot Topic. Um, I've tried shopping at Torrid because it's Hot Topic's plus size sister supposedly, but their prices are crazy expensive. Like, I understand it takes you a lot of material to make what you gotta make, and it's just all clothes and a few accessories, and they don't have any of the, um, like, novelty items, so I don't know if they're still partner companies or not, but they used to be, and they used to, Tor just sold the plus size stuff from Hot Topic, but Hot Topic does that all online now, they have up to like 3 or 4X and some other female clothes, so... I wouldn't recommend a Torrid, but because I went in there looking for the once upon a time dresses um, and the outfit. I wanted the outfit for Snow White. The, it's, I don't know what to call it. It's like a vest and then it has tail, like tuxedo tails to it. 
It was really cool looking. It was white though. It was like a pleathery material. And I was looking for Emma Swan's red jacket. But they had nothing. So I don't know if, like I said, if they're still sister companies or not. But I will let you go. See you next time. Thumbs up if you liked it. You know all that good stuff. I'm not going to go over it again. I'm sure everybody, I don't know why everybody says that because if they're going to like your video, they're going to like it. You ain't going to tell them to, but because everybody knows that if you get a like or a comment or even dislikes, it helps your videos out a lot and it um, brings them up higher in the YouTube search results. So if you liked it, like it. If not, don't worry about it. I don't. No hard feelings, but I don't, it doesn't bother me. So, I'm just happy that somebody took the time to sit with me and look at my stuff because, you know, my husband, like, he likes the dresses because, you know, it shows off my figure, what I have of one. And usually, it, they show off cleavage really well in the plus size girls. But, um, yeah. Otherwise, shopping, I like to, to buy shopping boards, him, unless we're going to, like, electronics store, toy store, bookstore. Bye bye guys. Stay happy and I'm gonna send all my good vibes I got left for the morning your way. I, I look really tired and my eyes look a little puffy. So see you later. Bye.